Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to create this Oreo biscuit in Blender from my Instagram. And if you want to download all the project files I use in this tutorial, you can go to my professional website where you can find some useful course and down or you can go to store and find these files. You can take it it is free and you can download all the project files and references image so now let's jump back to blender and start create our oreo basket so the first thing i'm going to do is to delete everything here and now i'm going to press shift a mesh and add a circle for my circle, I'm going to decrease this value down to 24, okay? And now I can press the tab key to go to edit mode and press F to fill the hole. And now I can press E to extrude this like that, not too much. So maybe you can come and bring this down a little bit and now i can go to face mode select this face and also this face at the top then press i to add an insert okay and from here i'm going to press shift r to add another one okay and i can select only this one delete it I'm going to delete faces maybe i'm going to do the same thing here also but i'm going to leave it as that maybe let's delete it also and now let's go to edge mode alt click to select the loop and i'm going to press ctrl f and use the command grid fill so we get something like that everything is connected correctly i'm going to do the same thing here at the bottom so i'm going to press alt click then ctrl f and use create fill okay if this one is not aligned correctly you can use this to do this so i'm going to put it like that now the next thing i'm going to do is to round this edges a little bit and also this one so let's go back to edge mode alt the click ctrl b to add a bevel and i'm going to add something like that not too much okay and i'm going to do the same thing here ctrl b again okay i'm going to add a little bit of bevel here nice maybe for this one alt the click press d twice and move it a little bit if you press d twice you're gonna use the slide tool okay now we get something like that we need to add now a modifier so i'm going to go into generate and use subdivision surface for this one increase this value to two let's go back to edit mode and we get something like that maybe i can go back here deactivate this one press one to go to the front view and let's activate x-ray so i can go to point mode select this and move it down a little bit so we get something like that let's go back here deactivate x-ray and now put this back and to avoid some edges visible on our mesh i'm going to 
right click and use shade smooth so you get something like that now i need to add some details here so we need more subdivisions at the top and also here so what i'm going to do is to increase this value to something like five also this value to five okay we get now a very smooth surface and now let's add another modifier and now i'm going to go into deform and add uh, displays for the displays i'm going to bring this value down to 0 0.01 okay to something like that and let's go to new i'm going to click on new click here to test you and i'm going to use image or movie so here let's click open let's go to desktop and i'm going to use oreo okay the png and click so we get this result nice i'm going to increase the height a little bit so let's go back here and i'm going to increase this value to 0.03 so we get this i think is okay if you want something much more sharper you can come and increase this value but this will increase also the density of the mesh i don't need that i'm going to reduce this value to five okay but we get the same result at the bottom i don't need that so now what i'm going to do maybe let's deactivate this to modifier let's go to edit mode and from here let's go to face mode i'm going to select these faces press ctrl plus many times to grow my selection and i'm going to stop here so one more okay and now we get it okay so let's go to data and i'm going to add a new one and this one i'm going to rename it this place logo Okay, nice. And don't forget to assign the selection to this. So if I deselect everything, I click on select. You can see that this select this top area. And let's go back here, go to object mode, activate this one and also this one. And now if I come here, I can select my vertex group that i created okay and you can see that we get a better result now nice okay if you want maybe i need to smooth a little bit this area so you can come here and apply this and also apply this but before doing that make sure everything is okay for you so now i get one mesh if i press tab you can see that we get this result so let's go back here and now let's go to sculpt okay and i want to smooth this area a little bit so let's press one then b so i'm going to create a mask something like that okay and i'm going to smooth it a little bit so let's go 
on the mask and use smooth mask and I need to repeat the process so let's press shift R many times okay to get something like that nice so what I'm going to do will only affect this area at the bottom and not affect this area with the mask so what I'm going to do let's bring this one here to see the name and I'm going to use mesh filter here let's turn this to smooth okay and just come here click anywhere and move your mouse and you can see that this smooth this area okay you can do it again nice let's check on the bottom okay we get a nice rounded area here everything is okay for me so now let's press alt m and we get it maybe if you want you can go back here let's select the smooth you can press s okay and you can come here maybe decrease this value a lot and come smooth this area maybe increase this and do it like that but i want to do it for everything here so Control z and now to do that let's go here under tools and i'm going to let's go down to symmetry and i'm going to increase the value of z to something like uh, 50 and you can see that i have it nice because i put it on in the c you can see that i have it like that if i do it here you can see it on x axis i'm going to bring this back to one okay and let's move it here and i'm going to smooth this area Okay, something like that not too much and also here down okay maybe a little bit Increase this value a bit and smooth it not too much because I don't want to lose the details I have here maybe decrease this radius and go back now control Z I think it's okay like that okay nice and maybe pull this down a bit and we get it so you get the, the idea now i can go back to modeling layouts maybe and we get this okay nice now the next thing i'm going to do is maybe 
select this scan here deform and i'm going to add a smooth for the smooth let's increase this value to four okay this will smooth the the surface a bit so if i put this to zero you can see all this area and if i bring this to four you can see that this smooth it clearly so we get something like that i'm going to apply this also okay and now we get this so the next thing i'm going to do is to add here a mirror so i'm going to add a mirror modifier okay something like that i'm going to deselect the x and activate the z so we get this one i need to create a gap between these two objects so i'm going to add a new object i'm going to add an empty object okay and just select this go back here and i'm going to use my empty object here okay and now if i select this top one okay and bring this up you can see that this will follow nice and i can create let's go to front view and bring this down a bit to something like that okay and now let's create the cream between so to do that let's shift a let's do shift a again and i'm going to add uh you can add a cylinder but i'm going to add a circle you get the same value here and i'm going to bring this down maybe bring this to something like that okay and bring it down in z axis okay something like that and now let's go to edit mode by pressing the tab key press f to fill and then press e to use the, the extrusion i'm going to let's go to front view and do it like that now i can isolate this by pressing the slash key and for this one i'm going to select also this one in face mode press i and add something like that okay then go to edge mode select this one by pressing alt click alt click again shift to select this one also and i'm going to press ctrl maybe I don't need to bevel it uh, what i need to do is to add two more subdivisions here Control r scroll up to add one click and right click and i'm going to move it a little bit but before doing that let's add another one here and another one here okay right click and let's go to generate and i'm going to add subdivision surface increase this value to one and let's go here right click shade smooth but it's too flat here i don't need that so let's go back maybe leave isolate mode and here let's go to edit mode press a to select everything and press s followed by shift z to block the z axis and move it only on x 
and y axis so we get something like that nice now i'm going to select alt click this one and this one and press s shift z and move it out a little bit so we get this shape let's go back here nice we get it okay i think everything is okay for me now the next thing i'm going to do is to add some details here some deformation so let's i'm going to do this for this one first so i'm going to increase this value to four and add go to deform add uh, a displace and for the displace let's go here decrease this value to 0 0.01 okay let's go click new and go here i'm going to use clouds uh, for the clouds let's zoom on this area and i'm going to bring this value down To something like that you can see that we get something much more realistic okay maybe let's go here and increase this value up a little bit not too much it's too high for me let's bring it to two I think 0 0.01 is the best value we can have here. I need just something like that. Maybe less. Let's put this back to 0 0.5. Maybe go back here select everything by pressing a okay shift z to see what we have here let's go back here and i need to press s to scale it then shift z and i'm going to scale it and push it inside a little bit okay to get something like that nice for this one and i'm going to do the same thing for this one also so let's add uh, a new displays okay for this one let's bring down to 0 0.01 okay and let's go to and click new go to texture and for this one the first thing i need to do is add some cracks and to do that um, let's go back here select cloud and for the cloud let's bring this value down something like that okay for this one let's go back here maybe i need to push it so push it inside so maybe let's add a negative value uh, we're gonna understand it shortly so here i need to increase this value a bit but before doing that I don't want it to be applied to all my surface i'm going to use the clamp okay and now i bring this down so you can see that this will be applied to some area only and let's go back here and maybe increase this value to minus 0 
okay we get a better result here but we need to maybe decrease this value down maybe let's go back here and decrease this value maybe leave it and bring this value down okay and also this down just need something soft okay i think it's okay for me let's check here on top everything is okay just like that and now let's go back here and i'm going to add another one so deform this place and for this one also 0 0.01 click new go to texture and here uh, we get the same here also we get the same but i don't need the clamp okay i don't need the clamp and for this one i think everything is okay maybe push it like that let's go back here bring this value down a little bit not too much i'm going to leave it as and maybe put this back to one i'm going to put this also back to one i think okay so we get a better result here and we get this nice texture okay maybe decrease this value down a little bit nice okay so now let's go back here we get this get also this nice now we're gonna composite our scene so let's turn around we get the x axis on this side so it's okay let's do shift a and i'm going to add a, a camera for my camera let's split this view let's press zero to see our camera and i'm going to bring this here let's go to my camera settings i'm going to change this value to 100 okay and let's go to object i'm going to set this to 90 zero and zero okay let's go also here and i'm going to set this to 2000 by 2000 okay and move this back to somewhere like that so we get this now i need to rotate this one a little bit so to do that maybe let's select this one and shift to select this one and now let's do control p and use object keep transform to parent this to this one so now if i move this one but we have 
I forget that we have our mirror. I don't need to apply this. Maybe what I can do is to add another. I'm going to mesh uh, another empty. So I'm going to add a circle. For this one, let's rotate it along the x axis. Let's say something like 90. Okay to have it like that and now I can select this one this one and last this one so let's do control P again and object keep transform so now if I select only this one I can move everything but this is not working for now because I didn't include this one so let's do control z okay so now i'm going to select this 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 and also this one at last and do control p again use object keep transform okay Let's select this one and test it now. Everything is following correctly. So control Z. Now what I'm going to do, let's go to object and from here, um, let's use the rotate and uh, rotate it like that. Minus 45. and also rotate it let's do control let's press shift to slow down the movement and i'm going to do something like that 45 again so we get this okay and let's we get the area logo like that let's press i need to rotate it a little bit so let's go here change this to local and i'm going to rotate it like that okay so we get this nice So now, what I want to do is change this to Shader Editor, press N to hide this panel. And we need to add a background also. So let's do it quickly. Shift A, I'm going to add a plane. For this plane, I'm going to rotate it along the X 90 degrees and move it back on let's do control Z let's say shift A but before I'm going to change it back to global shift A plane Okay, I'm going to set this to 90 and move this back the Y axis. So, control set this back to zero along the Y axis, move it back to somewhere like that okay and now increase the size so let's go to edit mode press s and maybe press 4 okay and press enter so let's see what we get here nice let's go back to object mode and now let's go here i'm going to change this to cycles 
and turn this also to GPU compute. Okay, I'm going to reset this value to 64 and change this to 94. Okay, so you get something like that. Nice, and now I can come and activate the render in this view you can see that we don't have any light the only light we have here is what we have here from our world so i'm going to add a top light let's go back here 3d view shift a and i'm going to add an area light for this light let's bring this light up a little bit to somewhere like that okay let's go here and increase this value to 200 okay maybe for this one let's press ctrl b and select only this region to limit the render to the camera view so we get something like that I'm going to increase this a little bit okay and maybe bring this up a little bit nice now I need another one here so shift a i'm going to add another area light for this one let's move it here and rotate it nine degrees okay let's do it like that okay right click adjust the size to something like that maybe change the shape from square to rectangle so now i can bring this up a little bit and get something so we get a light here i'm going to set this to 50 so we get a light here i'm going to do the same thing right on the right side so i'm going to duplicate this shift d to do that and let's bring this here rotate it uh, 90 degrees you can press r z 180 okay so you get something like that nice but for this one, let's rotate it a little bit, so to something like that, maybe minus 30, okay, and bring this, let's change this to local, so I can move it like that and move it back. A little bit so we get light here for this one let's change this to 100 okay nice and the next thing i'm going to do is to put light to light this area so let's select this one shift d okay and move this light back to somewhere like that I'm going to rotate it like that, okay. And move it to somewhere like that. I don't want this light to affect my background, so I'm going to push it away, back, okay. Maybe more resize it a little bit and increase the height 
Now I'm going to increase this value to 5000. So we get a highlight here. Nice. Maybe bring this to 7000. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So Shift D to duplicate this one. And I need to rotate it. So I'm going to uh, set this back to global maybe. And set this to 3D cursor. So I'm going to rotate it according to the 3D cursor position. So let's do it like that. Okay, so we get a highlight here also. Nice. And now let's begin adding uh, material. So let's go to shader editor in this area. And I'm going to select this one first. Click and rename this back brown okay and for this one let's uh, add uh, a blue color here something like that okay and we need more light on our background so let's add the shift a another area light okay change this back to bonding okay nice and i'm going to rotate it press control to activate the snap and bring this close to let's check what we have here by pressing the zero you can see that we have Maybe I can go to 3D viewport in this view and move this like that. Maybe increase this value to 200. Okay, so we get this. Push it back a little bit. Okay, we we'll adjust the position. Everything is okay for me. Nice. Now we're gonna go back to shader editor. Select this one. I think everything is okay. Maybe increase this value a bit to smooth the transition here. And you can also change the specular color to something like a light blue to avoid having a white area here. I think it's okay. Now let's select this one, create a new material and call it biscuit. For this one, maybe let's set a nice color. Bring this down to something like that. Okay, and now we have it. For this one, maybe I'm going to increase this value a bit. Let's go here we have everything okay maybe what i need is add a more bump area more detail so let's do shift a i'm going to add a noise or a verona is up to you i'm going to add uh, maybe noise okay and i'm going to press ctrl t to add mapping and texture coordinates 
you can go to edit preferences and under add-on you can search for node wronger okay you get it and you can enable this so if this is enabled you can select a node and click and press ctrl t this will add the texture coordinate and the mapping and here i'm going to connect this to object okay and connect this to a bump so i'm going to search for a bump okay and how many options i can select the height okay and move this back okay and connect this to normal so we get something like that for this one let's reduce this value to 0 0.5 uh, or maybe 5 5 okay and for this one let's increase this one to 2000 okay so you get something like that nice maybe 100 let's bring this a little bit up i think it's okay if you want you can increase this value to add more details nice and maybe more details i'm going to set this to three Let's bring this back to 2 and see what we have here. Maybe increase a little bit this value to 160. If I zoom out, you can see the result here. Nice. And maybe this is okay because we add more deformation with our displays we don't need to add too much here for this one maybe i'm going to bring this back to 0.4 nice and let's go to 3d viewport and for this let's change this to local and move it here okay and turn this Let's move it again. Okay, so we get nice reflections here, highlights here, and also on the surface a little bit. So we get something like that. Let's bring this back to 5,000 and do the same thing for this one also 5000 okay you can adjust light and materials after you put materials and you have light together you can adjust uh, also the light and also the materials according to the position of the light and according to the color of the your material or the position of your object so it's very important to improve the quality or the realism of your image by doing that it's very important process you need to keep in mind so now we get it everything is okay for me
nice maybe for this light i need to increase the value a little bit so let's go to here okay let's bring this to something like that don't like this color here maybe bring this down and let's go back to shader editor select this one and for this maybe decrease the saturation down to something like that and if you want you can add more realize you can do shift a and bring geometry okay and put it here i'm going to use point in s to add more color here so i'm going to use this and maybe i'm going to use a ramp okay ramp color okay and this down a little bit let's control shift and click to see what we get here as a result so i'm going to adjust this you can see that to match color here just something like that okay so let's control shift to select this one i'm going to use let's bring mix color Okay, mix color put it here and connect the color to the factor okay and for this one I'm going to connect it to this but I'm going to pick this color and bring it here pick this one bring it here and connect this to base color so now I can set a light color here if i bring this up maybe control shift click and you can see the difference so i have a bright color here and i have a dark one inside okay so let's go back and connect this to this one if I zoom on this area, you can see the variation and I can just come here and add a little bit of uh, subsurface. So I'm going to set 0, 1. Okay. And you can see the result. So we get it. Now the last thing I'm going to do is select this one, maybe copy this bump copy it come here and let's add a material for cream okay then i'm going to do control v and bring this here connect this to the normal and if i zoom in on this area i think it's too strong so i'm going to bring this down 
do something like that okay and change this color a bit so i'm going to set something like that and maybe emission add a little bit of emission five and if you want to increase the realism you can add some uh, grain here on the surface for this one let's decrease this value for the roughness let's say 0 0.2 Let's go back here and decrease this value to something like 0 0.25, not too much, and also decrease this value to something like that. Also, we don't need to match noise. Okay, I think I get better result here. everything is okay so this is the end of this tutorial i show you how to model this how to use the sculpt tool to smooth some area and i show you also how to create material complex material for this one how to add some details so it's okay uh, i will put this file you can find this file on my professional website here you can come and download it is a free file so you can download it my version and you can also download the the reference image the reference logo i use for this one so thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial ciao ciao bye